So what we're going to be doing here is testing out the AirSense on a Mavic 3, running the latest firmware. We're going to be tracking this airplane coming in here, right there, and we will see when we get our warning. We're north of the Calgary International Airport. We're in an enhanced warning area, and I'm going to start screen recording right now and so that we can refer to that later and we go into the DJI fly app don't know how much you can see because of the the uh, glare but anyway we're going to go into the map and that shows our location again that's an enhanced warning area and on our sensitivity we are set on maximum amount of warning right so from there now what we're going to do is that's our camera view and as soon as we get an enhanced warning or any kind of a warning on our screen we're going to see if we can see the airplane and that gives us a good judgment of how close that aircraft is. Now I'm going to go with the map here and let's see if we can see that airplane at all. Um, and so far it's not showing up oh there we go so that's our aircraft right there that we're going to be tracking but we don't fly in the map mode we fly in this mode so let's just minimize the map like that and then we're going to see when we get our warning and as soon as possible i'm going to uh, put the camera outside the car the aircraft will not be flying at any time again this is an enhanced warning zone so I don't need to uh, put anybody in danger so for now we're just gonna wait uh, this recording will be uninterrupted so nobody can say that it was doctored or altered in any way and let's just have a look uh, I could ramble on no I can't I'm not the rambling type, but anyways, let's just uh, actually let's just keep an eye on the map here, see where where he is right now. So, as he should be coming into the runway that is going to put it nearly over top of us. Oh, there he is. He's still ten miles out, but they move pretty quickly. And I see we got another one over here. So AirSense is picking up the aircraft. But the th key thing is, how soon do we get a warning? And that is my biggest issue that I have with AirSense, is that warning comes way too late, even uh, at its most sensitive setting. So we're going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to wait until we're about, it's about 10 kilometers out. And then we'll go back to our normal fly screen as if we were flying. So we're down to 11 and a half kilometers right now. And there is two two runways here. As you can see, we're, we're just outside the glide slope uh, of one of the runways. The other runway doesn't show up here as protected. Um, the FlySafe database probably could be updated and it would probably include it but I didn't want to include that at this time because of it may not allow me to even do this test even though I'm not taking off so now we're just about a little over nine kilometers away so probably within the next couple of minutes uh, we should be able to see this aircraft. Well, I shouldn't say see it, but uh, let's go back to here and let's have a look and see where, when we get a warning. And again, I'm just going to put the camera up like this and see if I can see the aircraft somewhere. But hopefully, hopefully you guys can see the screen. And we should be able to hear an audible warning as well. So I'm going to shut up now until we get that audible warning.
Still waiting. So now I can actually see the aircraft. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I'm going to put the camera out and I can see the, the aircraft off in the distance. You can't hear it, but you can see it. Fly cautiously. Oh, sure Fly can... cautiously. There. So we just got our warning, and now hopefully you can see that aircraft. That aircraft is less than a one kilometer away. Easily less than one kilometer away and that would give you absolutely minimum amount of time to do, do any kind of reaction to this incoming aircraft. So there's our aircraft and we've got our warning on the screen and on the map you can see the aircraft just going over top of us. And that concludes this test.